when we have numbers in a data set, except if all the numbers are the same. These numbers are usually spread out from each other and from their center. The variance is a statistical measure that tells us how far all the numbers in the data set are spread out from the mean value of the data set. It is obtained by finding the average of the squared deviations of all data points from the mean of the data. But what does this even mean? Well, remember our data set, right? Let us use it to understand this simple definition of variance. There are four keywords to build on this definition. First is the mean, then the deviations from the mean then the squared deviations from the mean, and finally, the average of the squared deviations from the mean. So let's first find the mean of this data set. To find the mean, we simply add all the data points together and divide by their number, which is 5. This will give us the mean of 6.4. Awesome. Now that we know what the mean is, let us understand the deviations from the mean. So because these data points are different, they will be scattered around the mean. The question is, for each data point, how far away from the mean is it? In other words, what is the deviation of each data point from the mean? For us to know this, we will simply subtract the mean from each point to know the distance or the deviation from the mean. So for this first point, we say 5 minus 6.4 and we'll have minus 1.4. Great. So the deviation of this first point from the mean is minus 1.4. Let's do the same for all the data points. Awesome. So now we know the mean and we know the deviation of all the data points from the mean. Remember that variance is a measure of the spread of data from the mean, right? And we now have the individual spread of all the data points from the mean. So we have our variance, right? Wrong. The variance is actually a single number that represents the spread of all the data points from the mean. But here we have five numbers. So in order to get the variance, we need to combine all these five deviations into one number. But there's a big problem. We have some negative deviations from the mean. And there's an even bigger problem. If we decide to find the average of all these values to get a single value for variance, see what we get. When we add all these deviations together, we get a big fat zero. Oh no! Hmm. Because the deviations on one side of the mean will always cancel out with that on the other side. Now when you add all the deviations from the mean together, you will always get zero. So we need another way to combine these values together. Well, statisticians have come up with a brilliant way to make this work. You simply need to find the square of the values. So this helps us to get rid of the negative values. And that's what brings us to the third keyword in the definition of variance. The squared deviations from the mean. It's beginning to make more sense now, right? Let's go ahead and square all the deviations from the mean. Awesome. So now we've got the mean, then the deviations from the mean, and the squared deviations from the mean. But this is still not enough to give us variance because variance, like we said, is a single number that represents the spread of the data around the mean. There are still five numbers. So we'll still need to summarize this to get the variance. So to combine all these values, we will simply find the average. So we will add all of the squared deviations together and divide by the total number. And that will be 11.24 divided by five, which is 2.25. In so doing, we have finally applied the classical definition of variance, which like I said at the beginning, is the average of the squared deviations from the mean. Awesome. So we have a mean of 6.4 and a variance of 2.25. What does this tell us about the data? Remember, variance is a measure of dispersion that tells us how widespread our entire data is from the mean. So with a mean of 6.4 and a variance of 2.25, this simply means that on average, all the data points in our data set are 2.25 squared units from the mean. A small variance means all the data points are close to the mean value, while a large variance means the data points are far from the mean value. So the variance tells us how much our data points vary from the mean of our data. Awesome. Now variance in and of itself is not that easy to understand because it considers the units in squares. In order to put the variation in the data in a more comprehensible way, we need a measure that is in the same unit as the data points, not the squared units. So let's find the square root of the variance and see what happens. And if we find the square root of this variance, what we'll be getting is a value that is in the same units as the data points. The square root of the variance is what statisticians call the standard deviation. Standard here because it's a standard way of quantifying variation. So the square root of 2.25 is 1.5. So what does the standard deviation of 1.5 mean? This simply means that the data values are on average 1.5 units away from the mean. Now the standard deviation is easier to understand compared to the variance because this standard deviation is in the same units as the original data while variance has the squared units. Now if you want to learn more about standard deviation, check out the card above or the links in the description of this video. 
To recap, the variance is a statistical measure of dispersion of data. It tells us how far all the numbers in the data set are spread out from the mean of that data. It is defined as the average of the squared deviations of all data points from the mean of the data and the square root of the variance, also known as standard deviation, is a much more common measure of dispersion. Now if you gained value with this video, please support my efforts by hitting that thumbs up button and share with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to be notified of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.